Hey, I'm Ashok Veda. Welcome to Statistics for Data Science course. So many aspirants of data science, data science professionals, um, lack in statistics skills. And, and, and the attempt to learn the statistics seems to be a very daunting task because statistics as a field is vast. It takes months, maybe years, to actually cover the entire syllabus of statistics. The good news is, the topics which you need as a data scientist, data scientist or data science professional in your work is very limited. So this course is specifically designed with those topics to give you uh, an overview of statistics and also all the you know all the skills required to use uh, the statistical skills required to continue or to, to perform your data science work. This course has divided into four modules. The first module is overview of statistics where we talk about different areas of statistics and we also talk about types of data and different operations we can perform in different data types. Second module is harnessing data, which deals with extracting data, collecting data. So we talk about sampling techniques, different sampling techniques, random sampling and bias sampling and all related aspects of that. The third module is exploratory data analysis, which gets deep dive into the analysis of the data which from central uh, tendencies, measures of central tendencies, data variability, and many other aspects. We also touch base the G-score, uh, standard values, uh, central limit theorem, outlier analysis, and, and many other aspects which comes under exploratory data analysis. And the last module is hypothesis testing, which is a, a very uh, uh, important uh, uh, area in statistics. So we don't cover all the tests, but the things which is required for us as data scientists. We cover the t-test, we cover ANOVA test. All of these are covered hands-on in Python. All right, so I'm very excited to start this course and uh, stay tuned. And, and more important for this course, you need to have a basic understanding of Python. You don't need to be a, a advanced Python, but a basic understanding of Python language and also familiarity in Jupyter Notes. Because whatever I share in this, in this course, it will be a Jupyter Notebooks. So you should be able to download it and practice by yourself. If you like this course, please subscribe to the channel and also click the notification button so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll get a notification. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.